Hello, let's take a look at how Neo4j Bloom provides the ability to closely inspect and even make changes to your Neo4j graph. I'll begin with a simple query on account holders here, and it's going to bring back a lot of data, in this case, 4,000 some nodes. Uh, and to essentially inspect these nodes, there's a little uh, button here to enable this, this window and uh, we call it the card detail window because each of these uh, are cards essentially for, for nodes that you see on the screen. And there's 4,000 of them, so I can, can obviously scroll through the list, but that's too many. And so what I can do is maybe select a few from the visual visualization. And then as soon as I select that, uh, I changed my list of selected nodes and this list updates in real time to show me which ones are selected. And what I can do is uh, I can just right click here and similarly, to, similar to how when you explore new uh, explore Bloom on the canvas, you have these right click menus, context menus. Similarly, on this card detail window, uh, you have this context menu and I can dismiss all other nodes other than the ones that I've selected. And then, uh, as you can see, you just have all 40 nodes as opposed to the 4,000 that we had before. And they're all of the account holder type. So I can just uh, take a look at them here. In fact, I can also sort them, sort this list by the properties uh, of the account holder. So last name, ascending, descending, birthday, you know, what have you. So let me select uh, this first one and I can double click on this. And that takes me to the detail for that particular node. I could have done the same thing from here. Uh, and in fact, let's, let's do that. Let's find this node on the canvas. So if I jump to node, you'll see that this is over here and I can double click from here and I can get to the same place. So here you can notice all the different properties that are available for this particular node. I have a little pencil that allows me to edit one um, of the property at a time, or I can also go and edit the node as a whole, and I can uh, choose to change any properties if I find a discrepancy. And the same thing I can do for labels as well. So here we have uh, Rita, uh, Frizel, if Let's say I needed to flag this particular person. Uh, for some reason, I could do that. I've just applied the flagged label to, to this node now. Um, I can browse relationships for, uh, for this particular node. And so I could go and, and see, and let's say I want to uh, navigate the has phone number relationship. I can just double click on that relationship. And I can see the detail of the relationship. And similarly, if it had properties, I could change those properties, but it doesn't have any. But what you also will notice that the, uh, that the phone number node popped up on the canvas uh, by navigating through that relationship. So let's uh, maybe zoom out a bit, uh, come back. And what if I just click on this second one? Let me find this one on the canvas. Oh, that's way up there. Uh, on the top and uh, maybe I want to uh, expand this guy. And so I can just do the same expansion as I can also do from the canvas. And let's go back to this other one that we had and expand this guy as well. Okay, so this has a little bit more information than the other one. And I can zoom out and see where they are. And what if I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, make some more changes in, in the data? Maybe I noticed that uh, Rita has the same address as Jeff Needham, but it's not reflected in my graph. And so what I can do is uh, I can, you know, navigate either through the canvas uh, or I can, you know, so Rita is already selected here. Let me just make sure only Rita is selected. Okay, and I can find the address nodes. So here's the address node for the other person. 
Uh, so let me select readout one, one more time. And then this node. And then I can just apply a relationship between between these two. And you'll see that this node gets pulled in because now Rita has the same address as Jeff Needham has. So this is one way that you can go about changing, making changes to the data in, in Neo4j right through Bloom.